Hi, this is Edwin from GetNotes. We know that we can calculate all the elements in Revit using a schedule. For example, this is my furniture schedule. Now you can see here I have three levels. I can group all the furnitures on based on their levels. The problem is if I want to group them by rooms, for example, I have a ballroom, meeting rooms, or conference room, and I want to report how many elements in those rooms, I cannot do that. Uh, this is where Dynamo can help. So let me open Dynamo and create a new a script. To do this, we need to use a package. I'm going to install a package here. Search for package. The package that I need to use is archilab.net. Okay, it's as if I want to install this. I click OK. Now it's downloading. Now it's installed. Now we can see we have the Archilab nodes here. What I need is under Refit uh, Room and Elements in Room. So I need to select all my elements and all my rooms uh, for input uh, for this node. So now I am going to add all element of category. And the category is furniture. Furniture. Now you can see that we have all the furnitures. And I connect here. And I can select this. Control C, Control V to copy them. And this one is supposed to be rooms. Okay, now it's... Uh, list all the furnitures under the room for example this is a room index 0 has one furniture room index 7 has several furnitures 15 here now i need to put this information back to my uh, furniture uh, the problem is now i don't have the parameter for rooms ideally uh, you need to create one custom parameter to in uh, to report where where the uh, furniture is right now I'm, go, I'm i just going to use mark so let me open my furniture schedule edit the fields and add mark i'm going to change this heading to be room Okay. Okay, now we can see that uh, it's still empty. Now I need to uh, I need to put this parameter to my uh, furniture. So I'm going to use set parameter value by name. Sorry, not this one. Set parameter by name. So this is the element. And the parameter is, as we talked before, is going to be mark. And the value should be the room name. Uh, this is not the room name yet. So I need to get the parameter value by name. This is the element and for the parameter name is name, the room name. 
so let's correct i'm going to add here now we can see that all the elements uh, reported were uh, this furniture so let me uh, minimize this and add more uh, furniture i'm going to add this furniture bed now automatically it will say bedroom if i change this uh, kit uh, this room name to be kit bedroom now it also changed to kit bedroom i'm going to add side table here it, it will also to uh, be the kit bedroom if i move this it's going to be a bedroom of course uh, to allow this uh, update you need to run to load run dynamo to run in the background if uh, you don't allow allow uh, dynamo in the background you need to open dynamo to update the value 